guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of Ascendance of a Bookworm. Yes, I know. Okay. So, let's go back to yesterday when I uploaded episode 13. And, um, I was assuming that, uh, it was just one episode. We were gonna get the last episode the following week, because it even said on, like, um, a site that I was checking. And then I got a message saying, um... Control had supposedly beat the other episodes. I was like, okay, interesting. I checked. It was there. And um, the sites that I normally get the episodes from, they didn't have it yet. So I was like, well, okay, I'm not going to be able to watch it until like today. So that's why I put what I put. So I had to get some other stuff done. They're both now out and I can now finally watch this episode. So let's go ahead and get started with the finale in three, two, one, go. And it's so weird to watch this on like a Thursday. <laughs> when if I would if if I knew maybe before I had a finished uploading uh, 13 that there were two episodes coming out then I could have put both together like how I'm gonna do tomorrow with um the last two episodes of fire force for this year but sometimes you just don't know you find out last minute and then you're just like are you serious <laughs> but we know this is gonna end good for her and I'm so excited but at the same time I'm sad because it is the last episode for now And see whatever they want we won't know until two days from now but i mean it's kind of obvious they want her But you might have to. I know, you don't know what they'll do to her, but...
Ah, ¿va a <laughs> I know it's a little. But we'll see in two days. It's going to be okay. It's a possibility, but I'm not wrong. Oh, honey. Oh. Parents. Yeah. Mm hmm. Because remember, they assumed because of the outfit that you were rich and yeah. Mm -hmm.
not fair though. It's not right. The mm. nice headbutt, though. You I understand. He he's the freaking hot, but like I get that he should say something. He's just sitting there. Mine. Hello, my child. What? Holy shit, honey. You're going to kill him. He's right about that, though. But you're not a killing mine. Please. No, actual talking. And they'll probably be sentenced to death or just the rest of their life in prison. You don't want Julie to be on her own. There you go. Please, because, oh. You just have to see. Yeah, I mean, that's the first time that it's ever happened like that, but Jesus.
I'm guessing you didn't have loving parents. Or anyone in there? Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's called the crushing. Of course. Yeah, she's done it a couple of times, but not as like powerful as that. <laughs> so I want to she should possibly be dead by now. I mean, not only that, but like, girl, that is a work of God, like, helping you. And knowing that her life, she's not done with it yet. So we're going to kick the high priestess out and make you the, the newest high priestess, like, please, because I don't like him. But it's just beginning to. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am too. Thank God. They're coming home, honey. See? Everything worked out fine. Oh, 
Oh my god, that was so fucking gay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh my god. I need a moment. <laughs> that fucking hurt. Oh my god, but it was so good. Okay, final thoughts in this show. As I said the same thing um, last week with the last episode of um, After School Dice Club, this is hella underrated. Like, most of the shows, I think, overall in 2019, there were a lot, and I mean a lot, of underrated shows. I don't know which will probably be number one, but I think this would be because not a lot of people talked about this show. There are, like, I would kind of say that the the people who did, they kind of keep, like, close together and tighten it and there are some people who kind of agreed on the things that I said and then there's some that I didn't and it's like that so it was always like a hit and a miss with this show but I still personally enjoyed it I love the story of it I love the characters I love mine she's freaking adorable and I'm happy everything worked out fine I, I think if this show had ended and it didn't work out fine, I, you know, that wait for season two would have pissed me off. But I think, you know, because I think it's coming in April as well. Um, maybe the first few weeks, yeah, I'd be pissed as hell. But then later on, eventually, by the time we get to April, I'd be fine. But then I'd probably be a little pissed again. But yeah, I'm glad everything is working out well for her. <laughs> just wait <laughs> I mean I get it like from what we all saw in episode one from the like let's see the look ahead when it was her and the head uh the head priestess together and the fact that she was working there and everything I'm just so happy that like she gets to finally you know read a book a mother having book and being like a little tight-knit small library and I'm just so happy and proud of her I mean this was a really good ass show and even though it's ending for now I mean it's not like it's ending forever it's more of a big old see you later until like April or whenever the heck it's gonna come back and I think you know when it does come back a lot of people are gonna probably eventually want to talk about it again I would have assumed that maybe like let's go back a couple of weeks ago the one was announced that the show was getting a second season and stuff I was assuming that it was going to come out, like, immediately right after this, like, coming into the first week of January, and, because, you know, typically now January is really known, or really winter, 20, uh, winter anime is usually known for a lot of sequels, and maybe just a couple of bunches of, um, new series and stuff, but mainly it's the sequels and stuff, and so if you haven't seen something that has a sequel, you're automatically watching, um, new shows unless you have the time to go back and watch a previous season or seasons just to catch up. And I mean, it would have been nice to see this show like immediately continue right after the break, but I get it. They're going to need a longer break to do the production. Who knows how far they are currently in production right now. They could just be at the start of it, but I honestly cannot wait to see what she's going to have in store, especially now working um, at the church and everything. And I think it's going to be really good. I'm just happy. Just thank God, because, oh, the fact is that, like, I, I love her parents. And this is what I kind of wish that every parent would be like for their child, because my parents were like that, too. You fight for your child, no matter what, whether it's for the good, for the bad, whatever. You fight for your freaking kid, no matter what it is, whether it's just like they want to do this or they want to do something else. The good and bad, the pros and cons on anything. Fight for your child, please. There are so many parents in the world today, and it's the same thing as the um, the high priestess even said, that they just kind of cast their kids out and give up, give up on them. Any kid who works, well, adult now, who essentially works at the church, they were all abandoned by their family. And with mine coming in and with a loving family and everything, it's now changing that any kid could possibly still do it, but just 
the way the parents were raised by their parents, you're going to see the ins and the outs. They're going to some, they're going to be some care. Uh, no, no. They're going to be some parents are going to be like, yeah, I love you. And I support you and what you're doing. Are there going to be other parents where it's like, I don't support what you're doing. I think it's wrong. You are casting yourself out. You're barely probably going to get money on this. It, it's just like when you have a dream and when you finally show your parents, improve maybe not only your parents but the rest of your family on your both of your parents sides that this is what you want to do for the rest of your life and that you're actually getting paid for it that's when they're all supportive for you and stuff but in the end your parents whoever should always 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 be supportive for you no matter what in the beginning thank you for my TED talk but I, I like I said, I really enjoyed this show and I can't wait until if it is April for season two. But I mean, it's so far away right now. And I'm just like, uh, I do want to read the novels. But um, I think this time I'm going to wait until part two comes. I'm going to wait until part two comes and airs. And that's when I'll probably start reading. If they do like a part three, then probably like between part two and part three, that's essentially when I'll start reading and then I'll catch up from there. But I just don't. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I'll just read all up to part one and then just stop entirely. Because I think someone said it was like the halfway point of book three. And then after I'm done watching part two, then go, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to be so freaking busy next year that I don't even know if I'll have time to read. I'm still trying to read these books. The freaking didn't I say to make my abilities average in the next life. I'm still on book one and I haven't had that much time to read it. But yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view choice of series. <laughs> I said it to the bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. I almost forgot the title of this damn show. Um, also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all starting next week in January for Winter 2020 Anime. And then eventually in April, hopefully, when part two or season two of a sentence of a book where it starts. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.